coming down and being on our program. Thank you. It's an honor to have you with us. Thank you. And also we have, as a guest today, Imam Eugene W. Farouk, and he is a chaplain employed by the Texas Department of Correction. And we also have Imam Akbar Nuruddin Shabazz, and he is also a chaplain employed by the Texas Department of Corrections. And these two chaplains service the inmates in the prisons who have converted to the religion of Al-Islam and are now Muslims. But they also will service or help anyone who needs help, regardless of their religion. And so I would like to first, Brother Imam, uh, begin with a question for you. And uh, I find that there are many people who think that we are hostile to them because we may come to them with information or the truth about a situation that perhaps may bear witness against what they are doing or what they believe. But I would really like for this to be cleared up so people will understand why we have to uh, teach what we teach. Yes, there's a problem for any uh, body uh, introducing or confronting someone or approaching someone with something, a uh, view, a view or opinion different from theirs. That's right. Uh, we have, we experience the same with other people too, you know. Uh, but if we, um, if we uh, have good intentions and we are moved by uh, desire uh, to uh, see people uh, in good situations for themselves, then I, I think that problem is minimized, you know. Yes. Um, I so I, I don't worry about that as a, as a, as a concern unless there are some persons uh, who are representing themselves as uh, Muslims um, uh, being uh, disrespectful of other people, uh, of other people's feelings, you know, and other yes, people's sir. values. Uh, but if we respect the f values and feelings of other people, there's no serious problem. There's no real problem there. Uh, we should uh, be comfortable with what we are in our, in our true life and uh, with our true mission, our true responsibilities, we should be comfortable with all that. Uh, and um, uh, if we, if we uh, want to share that with other people, we should be comfortable sharing it with other people. Exactly. Yeah, but we should understand that everybody's not going to accept it, everybody's not going to like it. Uh, and uh, it's not because of them being Christians or something else because of them being human and subject to human weaknesses <laughs> and subject to different with each other. And who knows, uh, uh, you know, maybe sometimes uh, um, we ourselves are not seeing uh, the situation as we should, you know. Uh, but to say God is one, it's been said before, we're not the first to say it. That's true. And if people um, don't take too well to that, then um, uh, we have to just uh, try to explain that we appreciate uh, the sincere, your sincerity in religion, mm -hmm. and um, uh, we think we are closer together than you perhaps realize, you know, even though you say God is a trinity. Uh, we, we still think you're saying God is one, and um, uh, the important thing is to see, in our opinion, is to see that and understand that God is one God, you know. That's right. Yeah, That's right. and I think most people accept that. Yes. Uh, and to say that Muhammad is the last prophet, uh, I don't think we have to feel that we are uh, putting ourselves in a situation to have a bad, uh, a bad kind of response c coming from the people that we say that to. Uh, because in this country, uh, right now, there's a real, uh, in fact, maybe it's a little bit too lax <laughs> tendency on the part of people to accept you no matter how you come, you know. Yes, sir. Yeah. And you know, this uh, idea of freedom, sometimes I think that idea of freedom is greatly misunderstood by many people as to, as to what freedom really is yes. and the responsibility of freedom. Yes. Uh, you know, we are inheritors of what is left to us by the people who went before us. True. And uh, uh, we have inherited language and meanings that have uh, right. left the original mm -hmm. form, uh, the original uh, uh, meaning. Uh, and freedom is freedom in America and in the world, I believe, especially in America, is one of those is one of those terms that have gotten away from its uh, best form and best meanings. 
you know, uh, freedom and man came about as a natural expression of his uh, inherent uh, potential mm. for excellence and for, for good life. Uh, and freedom originally meant for man the freedom, of, the freedom to realize the best in himself. Mm -hmm. And when freedom becomes a term meaning the freedom to realize anything in yourself, we're in trouble. <laughs> yes, right. That was an excellent answer. Thank you very much. Well, well thank you. No. Now, at this time, I'd like to go to the chaplains because I know they have uh, quite a few questions that they want to uh, mm -hmm. ask you about and discuss with you. So we'll start with uh, Imam Farouk. Thank you, Brother Imam Kamal Adin. First of all, I'd like to say, Brother Imam, it's always an honor and a privilege to be on the program, Alice and I'm in focus with you. And I'd like to uh, extend the uh, greeting of Isalam Alaikum. Coming from uh, the brothers uh, who have converted to the religion of Al Islam, the many brothers who have converted to the religion of Al Islam who are now incarcerated in the uh, prison system. And one thing that we try to stress in the prison system in our teaching of uh, Al Islam, uh, according to the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet, may peace be upon him is the image that a Muslim should exemplify at all times, because that image is very important. Mm -hmm. And, but we find uh, many times that although we try to project the right image, uh, sometimes uh, you have those who will come behind us and try to damage that image. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'd like to ask you, uh, what uh, can the Muslims do uh, uh, to uh, make sure that this image that we are trying to portray is kept up and kept correct. Yeah, the, 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 the thing that's needed most is what you've already done, and that is you've become aware of the importance uh, 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 for keeping uh, the image and attending the needs of image. Uh, people are looking at us and we should be looking at ourselves. Mm -hmm. So that's the most important thing. Right. Um, uh, <clears throat> uh, but I would say uh, that Lastly, secondly, and maybe perhaps lastly, uh, we should be aware that uh, uh, our society permits people not only to differ with each other, but people to uh, challenge each other, and uh, uh, with the aim, with the with the, with the aim uh, to defeat each other. You know, mm -hmm. this is a com highly competitive society. And no matter whether you are out there trying to sell a product as a businessman or you're trying to uphold a, a life of uh, quality and values, uh, you're going to meet people that are going to challenge you uh, and try to defeat you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we have to be prepared for it. Uh, so lastly, I give the Muslim a prescription. Take the position and persevere. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's excellent. Yeah. Thank you. Brother uh, Imam Akbar. Yes, I saw also, if I'd like to give you the greeting of my son, I'm making from the brothers in prison. Mm -hmm. And it's also a place to be on the program with you. I would like to uh, ask you to uh, give us further insight on, on, on this particular uh, question. We have uh, brothers in prison who, who feel like they should be called imams and, and form a community separate for us having voting and this type of uh, thing. But at this time, we are just selecting uh, it, uh, prisoners to work with us as our assistants, but some feel like that they should carry the title of Imam. Can you give us some insight on that? Yes, we should look, uh, we should first um, be concerned to uh, protect our best interests mm -hmm. as Muslims. Yes. Um, our heart naturally goes, goes out to the people who are sincere believers mm -hmm. who are confined. Uh, but we have to um, remind them that we are not responsible for them being confined. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 and uh, they have to understand that there are qualifications to meet in order to be an imam. Mm -hmm. Prophet Muhammad, peace and be blessings be on our prophet, he said, we do not accept people into positions that ask for those positions. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, that is, uh, we rather have people selected by other qualified people right. and, uh, to, to positions than to have people come up and say, I want to have this position, I want this position, mm -hmm. and get it, you see. Right. 
Um, and they, know, they must understand also that when people that know you uh, elect you to a position, is based on your qualifications. Right. And the qualification of the imam is that they've had some studies, they've studied for that. They have studied for that. Their life has been established in society. Right. That two, we, we always see the, the, the qualifications for leadership, and imam is leadership. Imam simply means leader. And he's a very important leader because he's leading people in prayer. Right. He's leading people in the knowledge, in the teachings of God that God left with us, the teachings of Islam, the teachings of the religion, the teachings of the prop, the teachings of religion, which is, which is uh, first the teaching of Quran, and the teaching of the prophet, you see? Yes. So he's leading them in that. So um, uh, he should already be established as a person uh, with, uh, with a life of decency, a life of quality, right. a life of devotion to what is in the best interest of the Islamic society, right. you see? That's he right. should be established for that. Okay, a person, he's convicted of a crime. We're not talking about the person that might be in there who's not, guilty of everything he's charged with, you know, or charged with. That, 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 that's a rare exception. That's right. Okay, he's guilty of a crime, and now he, uh, he's, he's popular among the inmates, and uh, here are inmates mm -hmm. now uh, supporting him to be a leader. Mm -hmm. And all of them in the same situation. That's right. We have yeah. to have people uh, who are not in that situation support a person to be a leader, and we don't want to uh, look to uh, prison quarters uh, for establishing uh, imams and mosques, That's right. you know, uh, the, the society uh, out here, the normal society, should be the, not that they are abnormal, but that society is not normal for That's human right. beings. The society out here should be the uh, society that we're looking to, to establish imams and mosques. You see? Yes, and if they have the services in prison, they should accept to come under an imam that's established out here. That's you right. see? And if, uh, if they want um, a position of responsibility, those positions of responsibility should be determined by the imam out here, not mm -hmm. by them. That's right. And to call them imam, in my opinion, right. uh, not only harms us and what we should be, uh, what we, we should be trying to project as an image of. Uh, the community of Muslims, right. but it also harms that person mm -hmm. because we most likely will be feeding a weak tendency mm -hmm. in an inmate. Mm -hmm. He's confined, he wants activities, he's bored, he right. wants the activities, right. uh, he, he, he feels uh, 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 kind of, uh, he's handicapped, you know, right. um, his, his, his uh, activities, his expressions are all now uh, pressured because of him being confined, mm -hmm. and he wants to get into something that would give him a sense of importance in the eyes of other yeah. inmates and everything. Right. Right. And this could be this could be a tendency, uh, the same spirit that makes him a gang leader on the street. He doesn't know that. He doesn't know. He has to look at himself and see and ask himself, "Am I feeding something that brought me here?" Mm -hmm. You know. Right. Right. So, is it in the best interest of us? Number one, we have right. to. Yeah protect what is best for the, for the image of the Muslim religion and the Muslim society. It is in our best interest, and it is also in the best interest of those individuals that would like to be called imam. Um, I can understand them liking it, go on loving to be called imam, right. mm -hmm. but accept that reality we are addressing right now. Right, right. I see. Thank you, Brother So, Brother, brother Imam uh, Farouk, do you got another question ready? Yes, sir. Uh, go right ahead, sir. What I uh, had in mind was uh, concerning uh, how you have many Americans who really uh, think that the religion of Al-Islam is a religion for basically third world people, yes. uh, Arabs, mm -hmm. Africans, uh, and they don't really consider it as a religion for Americans, you yes. know. And uh, what I really want to know is, uh, uh, could you shed some light on the universality of this religion? and uh, how it, it, it's uh, considered as a religion for all people mm -hmm. and not just a religion for a specific group. Yes, first of all, the revelation that is top uh, supreme authority, top authority, the highest authority in our life, it, it, it uh, addresses all people. It, it, it plays down the differences of race, 
and na nationality, mm -hmm. and it brings us all together on common basis as human beings. We are all human beings. And Allah says that he did not create the jinn nor the human being for any purpose other than service to him, service to God. So that means all human beings created to serve God. And the religion says, uh, says that the Prophet Muhammad uh, is, a, is the messenger to all the people and a mercy to all nations, you see. So we can't, we have to accept that. And God says uh, to us in our holy book, says that uh, the... The, the best of you is the best in, in uh, service to God. The best of you is the best in your regardfulness, in your relationship with God. Mm -hmm. The one who has right. shows the best relationship with God, that is the one who's best. Um, that we shouldn't look at each other's race or anything, but we should look at how we perform uh, before God and in, a, and, and, and in obedience to God. That is, that is what qualifies us. Lastly, uh, we have to understand that in the, in the early rise of this religion, mm -hmm. under the leadership of the most able, as Prophet himself, peace be, un, uh, peace be upon him, um, this religion went out of Arabia. He sent uh, messengers uh, of, the, of, of his mission into Africa, into Europe, Spain for 500, 600, some say 700 years, Spain yeah. was under this religion. And um, at that time, the Muslim world was not a third world. The Muslim world was world number one. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Yeah. Right, brother, uh, uh, Imam Akbar? Yes, Brother Imam, the uh, Holy Quran gives the uh, Muslim man permission to uh, marry the Muslim, uh, the Christian and the Jews, right? Yes. Uh, a lot of brothers in prison feel like that they That's have to believers wait. Believers in God. Right. We are part of yeah. uh, Believers in God. Yeah. Uh, many brothers feel like they have to wait until they find a Muslim woman once they get out in order to get married. Can you mm -hmm. shed some light on this? Yes. We should look for, for our compatibility. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and the compatibility of faith is the, is, 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 is the, is the first compatibility to look for. Mm -hmm. Person of our own faith. Mm -hmm. But if we can't find a person, a suitable mate, of our own faith, then God says, then a believer mm -hmm. from the from the from the others, that the people of the book, you know, right. believers from the people a believer from the people of the book. Mm -hmm. That is uh, understood that be mm -hmm. the Jew uh, from the Christians are Jew, you see. Mm -hmm. um, now uh, what I understand that to be saying is not just to marry a person who's Christian mm -hmm. or look for a Christian woman or look for a Christian a Jew woman. Mm -hmm. It means to look for a believing woman, believing. even though that woman happens, just the woman so happened to be mm -hmm. a Christian or a Jew. Right. Or maybe another, I don't know. I don't, may not be limited to Christian and Jews. Right, yes, sir. Yeah, but uh, people who are established for really believing in religion proper and having the same idea of religion and God and religion that, that we have, you know, right. uh, basically. Right. Uh, look for a woman from them, but look for a believing woman. Mm -hmm. So you don't just look for a Christian, you look for a Christian who's sincere in her belief. She believes right. in God. She's conscious of God as, as, as authority over her life. Uh, she's conscious of decency, of the, the obligation to be decent, to be truthful, to be virtuous. Right. Look for that. That's what it means. Look for a believer. Right. A woman that believes that she will, she will, she will be raised up after, after this life is finished right. and face her maker one day, you know? Mm -hmm. A woman who believes essentially in what we believe in, mm -hmm. and that is believing in God, mm -hmm. believe in a judgment, mm -hmm. believe in a resurrection, mm -hmm believe in the law of God that operates to reward and punish. Right. So a woman that's a person that essentially believes in what we believe in. I believe that's what it means. Right. So it doesn't mean if you can't find a Muslim sister in the mob, right. yes. go out there and pick right. an attractive woman from the street, you might right. get something that's a heathen that's for right. calling herself a <laughs> Christian. That's right. <laughs> Brother Imam Farouk, yeah, I just go right ahead. Uh, in, in relating to uh, the uh, different problems that we find in the society, like uh, uh, drugs, crime, uh, homosexu homosexuality, AIDS, etc. We have so many. Mm -hmm. uh, I was wondering uh, what would be the uh, proper approach in dealing with these types of problems. You'll find that uh, across the country you, you may have demonstrations where they come out and they openly protest and demonstrate uh, against these uh, types of immoralities. And then sometimes uh, you find it being approached by uh, uh, educating the people uh, concerning uh, the uh, harmfulness of these vices. But what I would like to know is, 
exactly how would you approach mm -hmm. that particular problem in, in giving mm -hmm. suggestions or advice to those who might be uh, victims to this? Yes. Um, as as uh, represent, people representing, persons representing um, the voice of religion, I think we should recognize the condition in the people mm -hmm. that invite such, such abuse of life, mm -hmm. that invite persons, criminals, mm -hmm. people who have no moral disciplines in their life or no moral considerations. And what are, what are the conditions in our lives that invite them to have this kind of boldness, mm -hmm. to sell these drugs for boldly, boldly uh, to um, engage in uh, uh, pornography and all mm -hmm. these other things, and uh, so boldly uh, to, uh, to practice sex and illicit, uh, to practice uh, uh, this, uh, this kind of sex without any without uh, any discrimination, you know. Mm -hmm. Sex with no discrimination. Mm -hmm. Don't discrimination between, no, don't discriminate between the girl that's married uh, or the girl that's single or the, uh, you see, uh, uh, the, or the, 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 the uh, male or the female. This with no discrimination. Mm -hmm. uh, whether she's clean or not clean. Uh, what, 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 what contributes to the, this condition being brought about? Mm -hmm. I think that's what we should be looking at. And we can best combat these things by not addressing these things directly, but addressing the conditions that are at the, that are at the source mm -hmm. of all of these uh, things that we are worried about, you see. Mm -hmm. Now, we have to, at the same time, we have to be, be, be uh, aware that the, the, the work that's being done to check the spread of indecency, drugs, drug abuse, uh, uh, pornography and these other evils in our society deserves our support. Mm -hmm. But I'm saying that for us, our attention should be first to the causes mm -hmm. and not to the effects. To the effects. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Very beautiful. Thank, Thank you. Okay, um, brother. Yes, Brother Mangum, uh, one last question. Uh, what uh, suggestion would you give to the people who are looking uh, with a sincerity for a better way of life? For a better for, yeah, right, for a better way of life in this society. What should uh, be, I, I, I have to, I'm sorry, I have to get that. What direction, or you know, what suggestion would you give to the people who are searching for a better oh, way of life? Oh, I see, I see. Um, uh, shop around, shop around. And shop around in the best places. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good answer. <laughs> <laughs> really, yeah, well, I have one last question also, you know. You, ha you have some people who are blinded, uh, uh, by a selfish self-interest, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, I would like to know that uh, what is the proper concept, concept of self that one should have so that they won't be blinded by mm -hmm. this selfish self-interest? Mm -hmm. uh, you know, for us, we, we have a, a belief that Abraham is a model prophet and the father after Adam, sec our second father. Mm -hmm. and, um, and that uh, he's a model of faith for us. Mm -hmm. And um, our, our Holy Scriptures say, and he presented himself to Allah in total. Mm -hmm. He, he, he gave, gave himself completely mm -hmm. to Allah, mm -hmm. you know? So the, the answer that, I, that, I, that, I, that, I'm, that I'm moved to give right at this particular time is that we should know the total idea mm -hmm. for self-interest, mm -hmm. not, 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 not in part, mm -hmm. but the whole idea for self-interest. Uh, self is essentially in two parts. Uh, my relationship with myself and my relationship with that that is not myself, mm -hmm. right? Uh, so um, I, have, I have a relationship with myself and I sense hunger. I sense my own need, my mm -hmm. own immediate need for myself. But then the food is not here. My body doesn't grow food for it to eat. Mm -hmm. I got yeah. to go somewhere to get it. That's right. So yeah. now my self-interest extends from me to wherever the source is for my food. Right. And in the beginning of my life, it's my mother, right? Mm -hmm. right. My mother has that food for me. So I have to see my self-interest um, in connection with my mother, my dependency and my need and my, my needs for my mother. 
and it goes on out to embrace the whole society and the whole world. Yeah. So a person can't let, see self-interest as, as, as themselves immediately, mm -hmm. where I am immediately. They have to see it in their total interest and their total needs. Yeah. And respect all of that. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, buddy, man. Uh, our time, like I said, it runs out so fast when we get in these discussions. But uh, I want to thank you, buddy, man, for sharing with us uh, the, this information. And uh, we feel very honored that you have come to visit with us and be on our program. It's the, always a pleasure. And as I said, each time I'm, I'm with you on the program, I get a higher appreciation for it. You have an excellent program. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. And also, Brother Imam Eugene Farouk, with the, uh, who is with the chaplain with the Texas Department of Corrections, I want to thank you, thank you. for being on the program. And Imam Akbar Nuruddin Shabazz, who is also a chaplain with the Texas Department of Corrections, I'd like to thank you. And dear beloved people, we have uh, come to the end of our program again. And as always, I want to thank you for sticking with us through the whole program. I would like for you to call me at 437-7087 and let me know what you think about our program or if you have any questions that you would like to ask. So, assalamu alaikum. May the peace of Almighty God be with you, and we'll see you on our next broadcast. al Lamb in Focus. This program has dealt with the misunderstandings that exist in this country about the Muslim religion. We hope this program will bring about a better understanding of the religion of El Islam. We also hope this program will encourage all people to begin to know each other better so that we can work together to assure the survival of our country. <laughs>